And up to this day, I cannot believe how much pain you can endure if you have no choice. And my name is Nate Tafel, which was changed. It used to be Naftali in Poland. While I was growing up in the city of Radomish, I lived in a very, very loving environment. Antisemitism was very prevalent. Being young, you ask your parents, what does that mean? You call Jew, Jew, Jew. They say, don't worry about it. In 1939, Hitler declared war against Poland. When we heard the German soldiers, we had steel boots. The SS and Gestapo were designated to destroy the Jewish people. We were just running away from just running, and we didn't know where I surmised. And my brother-in-law came in and said to me and my sister, you're going to put coats on, you're going on a trip. Don't talk, don't sneeze, don't cough or say anything. It was very tragic for me as a young boy and not be able to say goodbye and not know where I'm going. In Mielec, life was horrible. People were dying of typhus and all different disease. We had no doctor facilities. They tattooed us with KL. KL stands for Concentrationslager or Concentration Camp. On one occasion, the Gestapo came in and picked me out because of my age and size to be shot. And the foreman came over and he says, I'm a good worker, please leave and go. And they let me, let me go. But they took other people in the forest and you could hear the shots. Life in Flossenburg was a horrible. People were dying of all different disease. We, by that time, we didn't know what was going on. We were treated like animals. And they took us on a march. It was in April. It was cold, wet, and we wore sh wooden shoes. After one year, the Americans were approaching. Hate doesn't accomplish anything in the world. So from there on, I decided, if anybody likes me, I love him back. If anybody hates me, I walk away. I can't live constantly with the memories, but it stays with you. They don't go away. You know, you look at that picture, the picture that's given to me, I have no possession for home whatsoever. We have nothing, except this picture I got from my brother from Argentina. Mm -hmm. The family picture. As today, you see on television, how much people are killed for religious sake mm -hmm. in the world. It upsets me greatly. I hope to live long enough to see that there's peace on earth and love. <laughs> it is so easy said, mm -hmm. but you got to experience it. You got to show really it, the love within. Everybody in this earth is here for a purpose. We are all equal. No matter what religion, we have a right to exist. 